The first Black Arrow was launched from the Woomera Range on the 28th of June 1969. It carried no satellite and was designed to test the first stages of the rocket. But sadly, the rocket never made it into space. It was very apparent, straight, mostly straight away, that one pair of chambers was just rotating all the time, completely out of control. And what had happened, one pair of these engines was doing that when it shouldn't have been. So the vehicle, these others, as Tiff said, were trying to fight, fight th those two. Mm. And of course, uh, it was going off track. Well, obviously going off track. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, it's falling pieces. And there's the bits. Yeah, there she goes. Bang. Is this the one where the range on safety officers or is it quoted as saying, I've always wanted to blow a missile? That was it. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's, 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 right? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I've not seen that one before. No. Yeah. Could you see that, a cliff like that? or? I, I, I was on top of the instrumentation building, it's about two Todd Mars. Marvellous view. The safety officer announced that I think it was 10,000 feet, wasn't it? You'd have to yeah. press a button and break yeah. up system to like operate it. And uh, they just gave us that warning, and, and then the next thing we saw was this bloody great flash right across the horizon. Incredible. And um, we were standing there. Our jaws were dropped, obviously completely depressed. But of course, we'd, we'd forgotten. And suddenly, about ten seconds later, we've got the whole shot wave, the blast wave hitters, you know. <laughs> but it was a really uh, alarming sight, but... Uh, not, not the news you were hoping to hear from the first Oh, crumbs, no. No, of course not. No, of course not. not. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course not. Because you've got to remember that uh, we were... The contracts that we had were every three months and you, you uh, were paid behind, in retrospect, over the three months, and each of those three months, the contract could have been cancelled. Mm. So it could have been a disaster. Yeah, that's right. With the Treasury watching their every move and the threat of cancellation hanging over them, the next two test launches had to go well if the project was to survive. Although the first of these was trouble-free, the second rocket failed to place the dummy satellite it carried into orbit. A leak in the fuel tank caused a loss of velocity and the rocket crashed into the sea. This gave the Treasury the excuse they needed and on the 29th of July 1971, the Minister for Aerospace, Frederick Caulfield, stood up in the House of Commons and announced the cancellation of Black Arrow. But the Black Arrow boys refused to be beaten. I'd heard this about it being cancelled, but I'd heard it so many times before, almost every three months. I didn't take any notice of it. I, it was my decision, as far as the company was concerned, <coughs> because it was, the whole contract was my responsibility. And I said, we're going on until somebody actually, in writing, tells us to stop. And we hadn't had it in writing, so yeah. we went on. In an act of defiance, and to prove to the world that Britain could launch a satellite, the Black Arrow boys launched Black Arrow R3 on the 28th of October, 1971. The launch was a complete success and placed the satellite Prospero into a perfect orbit. The engineers in Woomera partied long into the night, but back on the Isle of Wight, the team had to face up to the reality that the programme was over and the government was not about to change its mind. 
Oh yes, I think they were embarrassed that it worked. Yeah, they were embarrassed that it worked, yes. Because it went into a perfect orbit. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the guys had a big party, the whole of the range people yeah. had a party, but uh, the, the realism kicked in immediately afterwards. We couldn't really do that. We were so I, I depressed know, I about it. nothing cancellation, I think, weren't we? I think it was a different We were over with it. But, I mean, and, uh, well, I think obviously it was a mixed reaction. Yes, yes. yes. There was a, a, a Monday morning board meeting uh, after the Friday that the launch was done. And uh, the, the boss said, well done Ray, you and your team. And uh, he said, you right, couldn't know what you've got to do today, don't you? And I said, no, I don't. What? Go and tell the people at High Dead that we can't find jobs for half of them. Well, how do you think that made me feel? I didn't feel any joy whatsoever. Mm. I mean, that was said just like I've said it to you. Mm. Um, so that's what I had to do. And I got out of my car and off I went. Left the board meeting. And as I said, I even got mm. tackled by an old school friend. What was I doing sucking him? He'd been working for 15 years for the company. He hadn't done anything wrong. Why was he out of a job? And I just had to say, I'm sorry, because we haven't got any work for you. It's as simple as that. Mm.